Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Um, I can't believe that we're already in February. Um, we've had like three or four really nice 70 degree weather days. So um, our winter's not over yet, but we're headed, we're headed towards spring and I'm kind of dreading it because I really do like the colder weather. Um, yeah, I just, I'd rather put more clothes on than take more off, so. But anyways, um, I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I have bought a new wig that I've ordered. Um, I haven't looked at it yet. The only thing I did was I sliced the box so I wouldn't have to do that on camera. Um, but before I do my new wig, I thought I would talk to you about, um, if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I was struggling with um, what to do at night. Um, I have a renter. Uh, he's been here for 15 months now, and um, it's working out fine. You know, he rents a room. He he only comes like three days a week now, uh, but he's, you know, it's still working out. But I'm still having those days where I don't want to get caught in the hallway without a wig on or something, you know. So, you know, if you watch my videos, you know I took a Renee of Paris Lane. It was an, an, a wig that I had been wearing for probably a year. And I started, just kind of out of curiosity to see what would happen, I started sleeping in her at night because I didn't want to get caught in the hallways without a wig on. So this is my... I think she, this is uh, Renee of Paris Lane. She's the Permatisse one, which, you know, I probably won't buy any more Permatisse wigs because I'm not really fond of that. But um, I've been sleeping in her at least three. I was sleeping in her at least four days a week. Now it might be down to three because the nights that he doesn't come, then, you know, I just sleep normal. But, but anyways, um, so yesterday I... Um, started combing her out just to, I was just curious because um the fibers started clumping they'd be about this thick in a clump you know and just kind of hanging and uh so I thought I wonder if I could actually comb this wig out and uh you know somewhat because I do have to wash her because I sleep in her I do have to wash her about you know every three weeks or once a month um but anyway, so yesterday I sat on the couch, I was watching some old movies, um, and I decided I was just going to sit on the couch and see if I could comb her out. And so I, 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 I don't know how long I spent, I didn't spend that much time, but you could definitely comb her out. It, you know, it, it was knotted, but so I, I combed her out completely and then I washed her, I let her soak in some uh Paula Young shampoo and then after I was done I conditioned her really good and I let her dry overnight and this is how she looks um not bad I mean yes yeah, she you wouldn't want to wear her out I mean I wouldn't wear her out anymore because she's definitely at the end of her life but but she's perfect for sleeping in and so I um I got her you know I let her dry overnight and then I knew I was going to make this video so I thought well what wig am I going to wear on the film so I can you know show you guys the one I'm going to take out of the box so I just thought I'm going to put this one on and just let them know an update on my uh, sleeping wig so this is how she looks I want to show you from all sides okay this is your left side okay and this is the right side. And then this is the back. She don't have much movement anymore. Anyways, just thought I would update you on her. Uh, like I said, um, I will probably always keep a sleep wig for this particular reason so when I first started you know making videos or started you know talking about 
what do people really do when they go somewhere and they're, you know, hanging out with other couples or family? Um, this past summer, I went with, you know, my brothers, my sisters, all their kids, my mom, her boyfriend, everybody. We were all in one house. I wore this wig the whole time when I was getting ready for bed and when I get up in the morning. So no one had to see me without a wig. So, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're struggling and you have the same dilemma that I had, just take an old wig that you know you're not going to wear anymore and just, you know. Now, I could probably use to trim her, just, you know, get some length off of her so she's not so much, but I've gotten so used to sleeping in a wig that it, I really, it has really helped me get past not or feeling that wig on my head all the time. Now, when I don't have a wig on my head, I, I truly feel naked. So, so it's really helped me a lot. And if you're a new wig wearer and you're struggling with wearing a wig, try taking an old one that you know you're never gonna wear out and sleep in it. You know, like I said, this is a, a Renee of Paris Lane. She's got lots of permatees and um, I have another Lane that I will wear. Um, you know, I've got her pulled out and she's hanging on a hook and, you know, I've put her on a couple times to go, you know, a few places, but, um, she's in a, this one is spring honey R or no spring honey, not, not the R it should, it was all one color. And I used to just put, you know, when I was first started wearing wigs, I used to just put some root right there just so it looked a little bit more natural, but you can see those permatease fibers. This wig is too light for permatease. And, um, that is one of the things that, um, I bought a Henry Margot Hope wig and it is got so much permatease. I might, you know, do an update on that, but I do wear her. Um, I have been wearing her on the weekends a little bit, um, going out to my daughters, just, you know, hanging out on the farm and, you know, messing around with the dog and my grandbaby. And so anyways, Oh, and by the way, my grandbaby broke my heart. He fell on uh, last Wednesday and broke his arm in two places, and he's four and a half, and it just, I feel so bad for him. But anyways, I thought I would just tell you about that. Okay, so let's get to the real reason I'm here. Okay, so I was on the wig outlet two or three weeks ago, and um, I ordered this wig, and... It's a new brand, and that's what I've said, is I wanted to try some new brands. Uh, I really wanted to try Tony of Beverly, but haven't been able to do that because from what, their, their wigs are not on sale. And, um, you know, if you know anything about me, I keep, my, I keep my wigs to a certain price because I, they're all the same. It doesn't matter how much you pay for them, how expensive the cap is, the fibers wear the same. If you wear a wig, for three months, every day, doesn't matter if it's a full mono top, or if it's a hand, a full hand tied cap, or if it's just a part, which is all I need is the, the lace part and the lace front. That's all I really care about. Um, the fibers last the same. So I, I really limit myself uh, in order to keep my channel going. I do try to buy a few things here and there, uh, just so I have something to review. So I, I got this wig and it is, it, um, well, in the box you get a little hand, you know, a little cap. And then they said I would be getting a free gift. And the free gift is Pure Care Shine Serum. I don't know if you can see that or not. Shine Serum. So I guess that's the free gift I was going to get. Smooth Add Luster Eliminates Frizz. So Shine Serum. So maybe, I don't know if it would eliminate shine or if it would add shine. Because I think we're all trying to get rid of the shine on the blonde wigs. But anyway, so that's what I got as my free gift. And... Because the wig outlet requires you spend $150 to um, make a purchase. 
I had to buy something else. But anyway, so I bought this wig. It is Camille, Camilla, Camilla, and she is in a 12-R8. Okay, so that's, I don't know if you can see it or not. 12, Camilla, 12-R8. But it is by Wig Pro. Now, I've never had a Wig Pro wig. Um, don't know anything about them. I do know that they are made in America. That is one thing I do know. Um, so if you open it, you know, you get the thing. And it here, this card is probably better than that label. It's Wig Pro Camilla. 12 R8 so last month I reviewed a wig by um, Henry Margot Presley and that was a 12 H so it might be a similar color but anyways um, I kind of know what colors I can get what colors I can stay away from so um, I, I kind of felt like this this color was fine she comes in a in the box looks like she's kind of curled up um, she's not like down or pinned down or anything. Anyways, it's Wig Pro. And she has a little black net on her. She has my favorite type of extended nape. It's like that soft velvet moleskin. Um, I love that. Uh, I do not like when I get them and, and the, the nape is just literally this size right here. I, it, you know, it's just that little small thing that goes around. I don't like those. Um, she looks like she has a really nice ear tab. They're soft too. And uh, got some hair coming from that ear. So that's good. Um, she is... I would say she is... Almost ear tab to ear tab on the lace. Very close, anyway. Um, now it looks like she has a really short uh, left mono part. So, but that's fine as long as you, as long as you got that little bit of part there, that's fine. So, anyway, thing I don't know anything about this brand. I just I've been wanting to try other brands. I was trying to do Tony of Beverly. Um, from what I'm understanding about Tony of Beverly is they really don't want their wigs sold online. They want their wigs sold in brick and mortar stores. I think that was what I heard on one of the, um, some, one of the wig reviewers. I can't remember who it was had said that, but anyways, this is what she looks like. And got a root that's that that's that eight r8 is what that is the root eight which is it looks perfectly fine and it looks good it looks like a color I like it looks very much like that uh, creamy toffee R or that 12 fs8 from John Renault but now I don't know anything about the wig pro sizes or anything like that but so when I looked at the actual um, measurements, um, I, the only thing I could find was it says front 13 to 15. So basically they're saying that the front bang layer where the bangs would normally be or the fringe is 13 to 15 and the overall is 19 to 20 and she weighs 4.9 ounces. So what I'm seeing from the crown down it looks like she's one length until you get about right there I don't know if you can see that and then this part down here these I don't know three to five inches are layered that's what I see so don't know how she's gonna fit you know I've, I've got that big 23 inch head so um, I will let you know in a few seconds and um, I'm happy with the color I I, uh, I'm getting better at the colors because, like I said, 
the color to me is the hardest part. I say that in every video because that's it, it really is. So I'll be right back. Give me one minute. Goodness. <laughs> There's that smell I don't like on a new wig. So this is straight from the box, like I do every wig I get. I don't comb them. I don't do a whole bunch to them because I want you guys to see when you open your box and you pull it out, this is what you'll be getting. And let me do that. I know I can't feel where that part is. Here it is. It's like a pretty nice part actually it's got a, it's not you know some of them are so full they've got a lace under there but they're so thick and full you can't really see the lace so that one looks good so anyways let's see if I got her on I think I got her pulled back too far Love the color. Let me just say, I'm ha I'm so happy with the color. The roots are, they, they don't look as dark as John Renault's uh, number eight, which this is a number eight too. It's got a very, very nice, you know, from the dark to the lighter, it looks like a very nice uh, blend there. So, all right, let's, so let's start with, So this right here is my hair. So that ear tab, so that's mine right there. So that, that one is good. That one's a nice, nice fit. This side, I'm not seeing any of mine, but that lace, that lace is right there. It goes from there over to there so it's definitely it's definitely closer down there than it some of them stop about right here so anyways so this is mine right here so I'm pretty happy and she's a little, she's feeling a little snug for right now. Um, trying to pull her, make sure I can pull her down. Um, I got good coverage in the back. Pretty much the whole, my whole nape is covered from what I can see or what I can feel. Oh, she's, she's going to need some pulling off the face though. Anyways. I think she's pretty. Um, she's probably going to need a little bit of maybe just um, maybe maybe some slight angling here in the front to like kind of like frame the face a little bit. Anyway, so what you guys think? I can see a stray hair there. Um, I don't know why, but in my mind, I just didn't feel like Wig Pro was as nice as some of the other brands, like John Renault and Henry Margot, but I do. I feel like it's very comparable. Look at those colors, you guys. I just think they're pretty. But yeah, she's... She's down here. Let me pull back a little bit. She's right here. 
in here curled. But you know, you could you could straighten those curls out if you wanted at the ends, kind of you know, make them less curly. But I don't care because you know all I do usually is put it up in a clip and clip it and go. So that's why I like the longer ones so I can throw it up and you know hang out in it that way it's not so hot you know if you in the winter time it's fine to wear them down but in the summertime you know that's what you want to do is get your hair off your neck because I mean it's just hot here but anyways let me do let me do my sides so this is the right side hopefully you can see that this is the right side And this is the left side. And then this is the back. Hopefully you guys can see the back all the way. So, what you guys think? Um, I didn't spend a lot of money on her. I think she was she was one twenty seven ninety nine. So, I definitely feel like I got my money's worth. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like the color's good. Um, it's a good fit. The ear tabs are. You know, a finger above the top of my ear, which is where that's perfect for me. I'm, I've got a little bit of hair coming out, which is, you know, which I think that's what makes them natural looking. And, um, you know, she's definitely, she could definitely be put in a ponytail for sure. So anyway, so what happened was... When you order from most companies, um, there's a few exceptions, but they want you to spend like $150. So instead of paying money towards freight or shipping, I would rather buy something. So I was looking at the website, I, and I usually do that. Uh, I'll buy a, um, like a conditioner or a shampoo or something. And, uh, but they had these little things and it's called a R-E-S-Q bag mini. So I decided to go ahead and get this and it, it's a little bag, like a little It says Amy Gibson's Mini Res, R-E-S, bag. So that must be the bag that you put this in to store it. But it comes in tissue paper. And it is a, it's a little, it's a little bag. And the inside is mesh. And it is for you to carry your wig. Like if you go somewhere and you want to take a wig, you just take this little bag. It has a drawstring on it and you pull it. You put your wig down in there and you draw the string and pull it and you carry your wig. So let's try a wig. Let's put my... This is my Reeves by Aesthetica, which I wore tonight. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this and kind of roll it and just lay it down in there and it fits. So it's a little bag for you to take your wigs places. Like if you were gonna go somewhere and you didn't want to just you know 
carry your wig out, you know, in a plastic bag or something, you would just put it inside that little bag. So anyway, so I bought that. I don't go much. I don't go many places, but um, I'll definitely use it. Um, but I would rather have that than to pay for shipping. So I went ahead and made my order over the 150 so I could get, you know, free shipping and ended up getting a little something. So basically what we'll do is put this bag down into this bag, I guess. I guess that's what you're supposed to do with it. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's what I got. My total bill was $162.98. I got a wig, got a wig bag inside of a wig, inside of another bag. I got this free gift, the Shine Serum, and I got a little hairnet. So, so not bad, not bad for the price. So, anyways, I'm actually, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Like I said, I probably will trim these bangs a little bit. Maybe, you know, get them a little bit more face framing. Um, it all just depends on what I do with the wig. But I think she's very pretty. I will have to say, I do think she's pretty. Um, this is Wig Pro. Like I said, this is my first experience with it. I don't know how the fibers will hold up. You know, at some point I will give an update. But, um, she's definitely pretty. So, anyways, it was good talking to you guys. Um, I miss you guys when I don't get on here, but sometimes I just don't have content. So, uh, it's getting harder and harder to do that. But I wanted to tell you I missed you and that I hope you're all doing well. And I'm going to pray that the Lord blesses you. I will talk to you soon. Bye.